Hi, I'm back uh, this time with uh, a boat. Actually, I, uh, I had uh, three prototypes until I came up with this one, and uh, this also doesn't look like a boat. It is not what I wanted. I wanted a few full metal body with uh, water displacement. It turns out that it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, because this is not not how the game checks. Uh, uh, for floating, it checks uh, for the parts and doesn't check uh, for water displacement inside the, uh, the volume surrounded by parts, so it doesn't work. The second one looked more like a boat uh, with uh, mm, yeah, plane elements and uh, wing elements, uh, but it didn't really go very fast. But any boat uh, that shallow in the water should have been very fast, so. I came up with this design. I didn't really uh, want to um, do something similar uh, that uh, Scott Malley did, and he did a winged uh, hydrofoil type boat, uh, but I simply had to if I wanted to achieve greater speeds. Also, I did this blinker as I call it, so if you look at it from far away, it is reminiscent uh, of uh, the navigational lights, so it is white uh, towards the back and red on the left. And green on the right. So technically uh, it blinks if we look at it from far away and also substitute as a, as a radar. It doesn't have any function whatsoever, it just looks good. So yeah, in front it's red and green. Um, yeah, I don't know if it will show up on the video because uh, the pixel count uh, will go down on the video, it's hard. So, I can still see it, but uh, uh, maybe not, not really work. And also, this ship design failed in a way, in a completely different way. Uh, and you will see that uh, shortly. I also have lights if I want to, but it doesn't matter. So we can see it shortly. Let's just wait a bit. I really like this big gun. Mm, yeah. Inside, this color is a whole summer. So, the failure of this ship is that it can fail. It has too many wing uh, elements. So, actually, it, is, it has stable flight. You can see it. Let's try to end it. Don't want to fly first with it. Actually, it uh, handles quite well. Actually, it is better to fly with it uh, than uh, to use it as a boat. Of course, uh, this is KSP, so nothing strange here. Let's go down. So basically, uh, this this uh, aft element is uh, compensating for these elements, which are actually just uh, a way for the carbon carbons to get on top. Still getting slower. Uh, yeah, because of the unhydral configuration of the wings, uh, uh, I have to. Uh, I really have to use the SAS to keep it stable. Also, it wants to roll off slightly to the left. I don't know why. So, those are its flaws, but uh, actually it works well. So let's go under, I would say, 80. Under 70, it's, it's really hard to go with it, so... Use uh, a little bit because you can see as it gets faster, 
these parts push the nose into the water and that is a problem yes we have just a tiny little bit of a lift we don't want more because then it uh, takes off but if we have this one it can achieve its maximum speed which is around 120 actually these forward tanks have uh, some ballast seats so that the center of mass doesn't move um, this is for the flying, of course, if I just wanted to use it as a ship, it doesn't really matter. So it can reach 120 meters per second. This way, without the ballast, it can reach 130. You can see that it's just barely in the water, so technically, technically it's not, not actually in the water now. Um, yeah, so... Reach 120 shortly. Uh, the blinker is awesome, but even uh, up close it looks uh, awesome. Yeah, so 120 achieved. Now it has a problem. Uh, the problem is uh, really how to take off from water. If I'm not careful, the engines are going to hit uh, the water and then uh, they uh, destroy themselves. So we need to take off, off now. <laughs> I can turn these on. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Everything else is fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, so let's uh, let's try another one. This coffee is stuck there. <laughs> okay, now we're at flight. So let's uh, uh, try another one. Maybe it's less. Uh, I just love this blinker. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this was unintentionally funny. So, but it demonstrated that it has a problem problem with the uh, engines. Uh, uh, these have to be this this low because uh, it's because of the center of mass. Uh, uh, actually, they should be a little bit lower, but uh, we are compensating for the fact that uh, as the fuel goes out, uh, center of mass will go higher. So, uh, this is the lowest I can. The highest I can put them so. so let's just fly to the airfield. It's better. I want to know which fire. So this way it can reach 160. 160. Yeah. And have a flight uh, this reload so but uh, as it goes up this will get faster. Yeah, I actually wanted to do a longer mission. Uh, one with uh, a submarine on late and I wanted to take uh, it there but Actually, I, I managed to compress the submarine uh, so small that it fit uh, into a cargo bay. But uh, using an airplane for that to land, uh, that, so that, that basically there were a lot of uh, problematic parts in that mission. I felt that it's uh, not really uh, uh, valid uh, way to do it. So I, I have to redesign that sometime, maybe. Some parts work quite well, for example, someone did reach the uh, water from the island. And why? Because I didn't want to take uh, all the ballast, uh, so I had to mine plate and resources such that ore is not available <laughs> inside the sea, so that's a problem. So that was one point I thought. Uh, Fair, but it was successful. But the submarine didn't work. 
the weight worked uh, on Kelvin, somehow it was uh, not in balance, I don't know why. Uh, the plane was actually really hard to land, maybe it was also somewhat underfueled uh, for interplanetary distances, it wasn't an SST of course, it is too heavy for that. Uh, Uh, so basically, uh, there were a lot of problems with that. I st I'm still struggling to do flybys uh, with uh, bodies uh, in a targeted way, so it's, it's not that it just happens, but I plan it. Uh, it, simply, it simply doesn't work for me, I, I cannot do it. And arrow capture is still hard, even though it uh, was uh, is somewhat better. Uh, since 105 came out uh, on Joule, uh, the plane was attacked for a Joule arrow capture, so I wanted to do a flyby. It, it didn't turn out so that I could do it, so yeah, it had a lot of problems. Maybe, maybe I can do it later sometime. Oh, landing gear. Yeah, I'm on target, I think it's alright. So there is the old command capsule, actually I didn't see that uh, game. There's a blinky light, we can do that. <laughs> From parts. And basically that's it. Uh, why is it not breaking? Actually, I can get back up. But, uh, <laughs> so it's just uh, to get uh, that part from up close. And it's your full part. And can I climb it? So... <laughs> um, that's it, thanks for watching. Bye.